So I'm in the mood to chat. I'm rarely not in the mood to chat, but I have a ton to say today. I made a little list on my computer just so I stay on track because I rarely do. First of all, look at this adorable PJ set. It's finally getting like a little bit cooler to where I can start wearing these and I'm obsessed with them. Someone could just rouse me from my sleep in the middle of the night and I could board the Polar Express, no questions asked, and like kind of feel at home. I don't know, I'm obsessed with them. Moving on, I've almost finished this journal. Come on, that's a pretty big accomplishment. I will say it's unfortunately not like a dear diary journal. It is, here's all of my junk and receipts and ephemera that I've collected over the course of the past like three years in a journal. So this is like an old bullet journal. I went through a bullet journaling phase where I'd be like, one of the pages was literally tracking my water consumption. If you guys can imagine how long that lasted. Anyway, ugh, I can't show a lot of these pages because it did turn into a bit dear diary at some point, but so. It's like a little bit of collage going on. Oh, this is cutesy. Fall in Boston. So this was like two years ago, Saturday mornings. This was my like favorite place in Boston, which is a produce market outside of Boston Public Market. This is another little fun one. We've got a Mike's pastry receipt and then some pictures of my weekend. Um, this one's kind of fun. Anyway, and then the back has all of my I Voted stickers, which I think is so fun. I will say, <clears throat> I'm gonna hop on my little soapbox for a bit. Y'all, if you are an American citizen, if you are above the age of 18 or 18 and you are able to vote, get your ass to the polls or get your ass online, register, and then sign up to get it. Mail-in, absentee, whatever. It's so incredibly simple. It's so motherfucking important. Imagine having the privilege of being able to vote and not taking it. That's fucking crazy. I, of course, have already voted absentee and I voted for Kamala, of course. Not only do I think she is a much more qualified and coherent candidate, but I also really value the fact that she will further climate policy in the United States. Even if that's not your main priority, the other candidate, I refuse to say his name, he's an evil, evil little man. He's already demonstrated from when he was in office that he's going to do everything he can to roll back a lot of environmental policies and regulations that were put in place by previous administrations. So, so if you care about climate, which not only impacts everybody in the world, but even more harshly impacts marginalized communities, then you know how to vote. If you care about a woman's right to choose what they want to do with their own body, you know how to vote. So get your ass out there and vote. That's the most important thing, show up. This is my first presidential election that I've ever been able to vote in and come on, it's unbelievable. It's the greatest thing in the world and I'm very, very proud to be able to vote. I didn't get a sticker, I will say. There was no sticker in my little absentee ballot. Maybe they stopped doing that. Either way, moving on. I have started a nine to five and it's kind of rocking my shit a little bit for like a number of reasons. First of all, it's not exactly what I expected. I'm not gonna get into the job itself, but the schedule is like beautifully wonderful because I'm used to having classes and doing homework on weekends and at night. Now clock hits five and especially because I'm like hybrid, mostly remote, clock hits five. I'm done. I'm not thinking about work. And it's just so nice to be able to have this distance from my job and have just so much of a better work-life balance. I will say I have worked a nine to five before and it was at a cafe, so it was like food service. Why we were only open nine to five, like the worst possible times for a cafe to be open, I don't know. But like, I would say that was 10 times more exhausting than this job because it's much more like mental work than it is like physically listening to customers bitch that we don't have their ranch dressing. So I'm definitely enjoying it and even more so I'm kind of enjoying the like preview it's giving me into the next phase of my life. This kind of hybrid work environment is really working for me and I'm like excited about it. So I'm also kind of on the outs with the gym. It might be because I've been sick for the past like week and just have not had the energy to go. But like I just, it's getting very monotonous and like I should just switch up my workout but I don't know if I want to. So I'm kind of looking into new ways of exercise. I don't know. I know I talk about wanting to be jacked a lot and like, yes, that would be nice. And also I'm kind of realizing that I just wanna find ways of like staying healthy and taking care of myself that I enjoy and potentially that's lifting and potentially it's not. It's not running, I can tell you that for damn sure. In more fun news, the paychecks that are coming in are so delicious. I've ordered some stuff from eBay and I will in fact film a haul because I, so I think I spent like a hundred, I spent $106 on eBay which for me is crazy because I have like a fear of spending money. Ugh, I'm just so excited. I found so many cute pieces and it's fun to be able to kind of treat myself. Anyway, that was a tangent from the paycheck thing. 
bakeries. I have been trying so many bakeries recently because I was like, hello, this is like such a fun way to spend my weekend. I usually go to like one, two new bakeries a weekend and it's just so enjoyable. First of all, love a good sweet treat. Second of all, it's fun to kind of explore different areas of the city because I've definitely been to all the ones that are kind of like within a mile or so radius. I think that's actually all I had. I can't wait to read my book. Let me actually tell you what I'm reading right now. Oh, okay. These are dried contacts on the back of my Kindle. <sighs> on, I've never felt more seen than when I saw a video of a girl moving. Or she was like subleasing her apartment, I think. And she was like, I have to vacuum behind my bed because I just throw my contacts behind my bed. And I like don't do that. I usually put them in a little pile next to my bed on my windowsill. And then I clean them up like in the morning. Sometimes I don't, obviously. And then they're stuck the back of my Kindle. Moving on. Right now I'm reading A Calamity of Souls by, I think it's David Balducci, but I'm not sure. David Baldacci. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.